Salvete omnes. This is exercise E of the pronoun review. The instructions say that we are to translate the following English sentences into Latin. So, sententia prima. Whom were they defending? So we cannot tell just by looking at whom how many there are, as in the number whom, either singular or plural. We know that whom is going to be the, uh, the non-nominative, so it's going to be the accusative. They were defending. We know this because, go to your verb, defending. Who's doing the defending? They are defending. They were doing the defending. So they is the subject. They is going to be the nominative, the subject. Whom were they defending? Well, they're defending someone. Whom? They're defending them. So whom is the direct object? the accusative. We want the accusative of the interrogative pronoun quis quid, so we want the quem. We don't want quid because it's neuter. Whom is definitely a sexed living person, either masculine or feminine. So whom is going to be quem, quem. Now, it could also be plural because English can't tell the number, so it could be quos, it could be quos. If it were quas, it would be an entirely female number, so a group entirely composed of women, quas, and not very likely, and Latin's a sexist language, so quos, if it were feminine, or I'm sorry, if it were uh, plural. So they were defending. Whom were they defending? This is going to be the imperfect, third person plural, imperfect of defendo, defendere, defendi, defensos. It's active voice. So quem defendebant? or quos defendebant. Secunda, sententia secunda. To whom did you give the money? To whom did you give the money? So, if you have trouble figuring out what is what, start with your verb. Verb is give, that's the action word. Who did the giving? You did the giving. You did give, so you is the subject verb happened in the past. It's going to be second person singular because you did it. Perfect tense, active voice of do, dare, dedi, datus. What did you give? That's going to be the direct object. The money is what you gave, the thing that you gave. It's going to be the direct object. That's going to be the accusative case. We want the accusative singular of pecunia, I, feminine. So pecuniam. Dedisti and pecuniam, you gave the money. And then to whom? To whom did you give the money? This is going to be the indirect object, because the direct object goes to someone, an indirect object. So we want the dative indirect object of the interrogative pronoun uh, quis quid. Once again, we can't tell the number. We can tell the gender. It's going to be masculine or feminine. But we can't tell the number. So the singular is going to be cui. And the plural is going to be quibus. Cui pecuniam dedisti? Cui pecuniam dedisti? The plural would be quibus pecuniam dedisti. Tertia, sententia tertia. What is in the road? What is that thing in the road? This is a neutered thing. So I don't know what it is. It's not a who. What is in the road? So quis quid, we want the quid neuter. So quid is est in plus the ablative showing location. I want the ablative of via, I, feminine. Quid est in via, macron over the A in via. Or quid in via est. Quid in via est. Quarta, sententia quarta. Who is that woman over there? Who is that woman over there? So who, because this person is sexed, so it's not going to be quid, neuter, it's going to be quis. Quis, the interrogative quis, we know it's singular. So quis est that woman over there, that woman over there. Now, this could just be one word. The pronoun ille, illa, illud, just make it singular because it's woman, singular, and feminine because it's a woman so we could say quis est illa quis est illa 
Now, if you really wanted to emphasize woman, you could say femina, quis est illa femina, or quis est illa mulier, but you really don't need it. Illa by itself acts just fine as a substantive. Quis est illa, and we know from using illa, illa, illud that she is over there yonder, far off, over there. Quinta, sententia quinta, with whom is he fighting? With whom is he fighting? He is fighting with someone. Fighting is the verb, he is doing it. Third person singular is happening right now in the present tense, active voice. And with whom? Cum, plus the ablative of accompaniment. With whom? And once again, we do not know the number. With whom? So, with the interrogative pronoun, this is not going to be post-positive cum. It's going to be prepositional, pre, uh, going before the noun, preposition. So, cum quo, cum quo pugnat, or cum quibus, because we don't know the number, cum quibus pugnat. Sexta, sententia sexta. Whose friend is he? Whose friend is he? When you see whose, that just means of whom. Of whom. And once again, we can't tell the number singular or plural. So genitive, of whom, whose. Singular would be cuius. Plural is going to be quorum. The all feminine group would be quorum, but unlikely. So we'll use the masculine quorum. The subject of the verb is is going to be Amicus, friend, is he. Friend is he. So we have the subject friend, the linking verb is, and then he. Uh, probably going to be the neutral. So is, ea, id. We want the masculine nominative is because we have the subject, linking verb, predicate, nominative. Cuius amicus est is, or quorum amicus est is, or Cuius or quorum is amicus est. Septima, sententia septima. Who are ye? Who are y'all? So we need to have this be plural because we know this is going to be plural. Are ye? Ye are? That's going to be estis from sum es est. Sumus estis sunt. So estis. This needs to be plural. We can't say quis estis. That's all kinds of wrong. The singular would be quis s. Quis s. Who are you? Who art thou? This is the plural qui, qui estis, qui estis. Who are y'all? Octava, sententia octava. Okay, so this is not an interrogative here. You can tell because the lack of quotation marks. We're not asking a question here. So here we're going to be using not the interrogative pronoun, but the relative pronoun, the relative pronoun to whom. So those are the soldiers. We are pointing out that those are the soldiers to whom we gave the weapons. Which soldiers are those? The ones to whom we gave the weapons. So those are the soldiers. Uh, we don't uh, know if those are the ones over there. I would indicate otherwise, like I did in Sententia Nona. So here in Sententia Octava, let's just use the neutral is, ea, id. So those are the soldiers to whom we gave the weapons. I'm not pointing out the location of the soldiers. I'm just saying that, that these are the ones that we've talked about already. They've already been mentioned or they are about to be mentioned. Which ones are those? Uh, the ones to whom we gave the weapons. Oh, okay, cool. So we want, uh, this is going to be nominative, are the soldiers. This is the subject. The subject of are. Soldiers is going to be a predicate nominative. It's going to be a noun. So if those, nominative plural masculine, e, double i, or a, e, letter e, i, a, e, plural is going to be sunt, third person plural of sum esse fui futurus. Ei sunt milites, 
So we want the nominative plural of miles militis, that's milites. Ei sunt milites, or i sunt milites. To whom we gave the weapons. All right, this is a relative clause introduced by the relative pronoun whom, with the preposition to whom. So the relative pronoun must agree with its antecedent, which is soldiers, in gender and number, but not necessarily in case. If soldiers, the antecedent, is plural and masculine, then the relative pronoun must also be plural and masculine. If soldiers is nominative, because it's the predicate nominative, to whom this is going to be however it acts inside of its clause. If it helps you to bracket the clause, so put brackets around to whom and then brackets around the period after weapons, Gave is the verb, we gave, we is the subject of gave, we gave the direct object weapons, to whom, to the dative indirect object. So inside the clause, this pronoun is a dative indirect object. It's referring back to the soldiers. So we want the dative and plural and masculine, quibus, quibus. Ei sunt milites, quibus, we gave, we did this in the past, first person plural, perfect active indicative, of do, da, re, de, di, datus, and then weapons. We're going to go ahead and use tellum, e, neuter, plural, tella, and we want the accusative direct object, tella. So, ei sunt milites quibus tella dedimus. Nona, sententia, nona. Those over boys were running from these right here, girls. So the parentheses, the parenthetical asides that I put, show you that I'm indicating the location of these nouns using these locative demonstratives. So those over there, we're going to use ille, illa, illud to modify the noun boys. And then right here, these, hic, hi, cock is right here. Hick high cock will modify the noun girls. So those boys, the verb is running. The boys are the ones who were running. They're the subject. Illi pueri, the nominative plural masculine. Illi pueri, they were running. Curro, currere, cucurri, cursus. We want the third person plural imperfect active indicative. Correbant, correbant, and they were running from these right here girls. We want from ablative of separation with preposition a, ab, a, or a, b. These needs to agree with uh, puella i feminine. So we want a puellis, a, a plus the ablative of separation, puellis. And then hic, hi, cock, and the ablative as well. A, his, puellis. Now, the H, even in classical Latin, the H in his would be very slightly pronounced. So the Romans, as if it were not there, and the word were uh, initialized by an I, so is, the Romans put that B in ab, to ease pronunciation. So ab, his. You see that B in front of even H's. Ab his puellis. Illi pueri ab his puellis currebant. And then decima, sententia decima. Who are the men who say these things? Weird ones, dude. Weird ones. Who are the men? Okay, so this is an interrogative pronoun because we're back to asking questions. Who are the men? So men, these are sexed people. So masculine, we want quis quid, but we want to use quis. But it's plural. So qui, are, they are, right now, present time, sunt. Qui sunt the men? Qui sunt Nominative plural of weir, weary, masculine. Qui sunt weary? Qui sunt weary? 
who say these things? And then we also threw in a relative clause. So the relative clause, who say these things, uh, is introduced by the relative pronoun who. Notice in English, they're the same form. Huh. They are pretty much in Latin the same form too. Wow, that's amazing. I wonder if there's a relationship. So the antecedent of the relative pronoun is men. They, the relative pronoun must agree with its antecedent in gender and number, but not necessarily in case. So if men is plural masculine, then the relative pronoun who must be plural masculine. Who is uh, the subject? The verb is are. It's a linking verb, linking a subject with a predicate nominative. So that's why we wanted the nominative of weir. The nominative plural is weiri. Who say these things? So this is going to be plural masculine. And inside the clause, who say these things, who is the subject of say? It's the who. The who says these things. So the who refers back to the men. So the men are predicate nominative here in the nominative case. Inside the clause, the men are also nominative, but they're the subject of this verb. So nominative, plural, masculine, qui. It's the same form. Like in English. Qui sunt viri qui say these things. So they say, dico, dicere, dixi, dictus. They say them right now, third person plural present tense. So dicunt, dicunt, unt. And they say these things right here. Now I didn't indicate right here. So these things, let's just use the neutral. Is a id. Now things, don't put race. We don't want race here, stuff. Let's use the plural neuter, plural neuter things. So we want the plural neuter of is, ea, id. And then we want the direct object because who is the subject in the clause? Say is the verb. And what do they say? They say the direct object, accusative, these things. So the accusative plural neuter of is, ea, id is ea. Qui sunt viri? Qui ea dicunt? Qui sunt viri? Qui ea dicunt. Optime, very well done. Make sure you review the forms of the demonstratives. Is ea id. Hic haec hoc. Ille illa illud. Make sure you review relative pronouns. Qui quae quod. Make sure you review interrogative pronouns quis quid, and make sure you review personal pronouns, ego, nos, tu, and vos. And that should be it for the pronoun review. Optime, valete omnes.